that we need to continue to stand strong to defend everybody's rights and freedoms. Regardless of the fact that we are attacking your fundamental rights or limiting your fundamental rights, and the Charter says that it's wrong, we're still going to go ahead and do it. It's basically a loophole that allows a majority to override fundamental rights of a minority. On this Tuesday night, unjustified and unreasonable, the court ruling on the federal government's use of the Emergencies Act. It was the right thing to do. I and my government are obviously extremely staunch supporters and defenders of Canada's Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The Charter is there to protect Canadians from governments that overreach. It's uh, something that Canadians value and identify with, and it's something that protects us all. Ottawa's weeks-long gridlock warranted the government's attention, according to the federal court. But using the Emergencies Act to deal with it was not justified. This is a huge victory for Canada and for everybody who cares about rights and freedoms. So it was a vindication as somebody who really believes in our constitutional rights and believes that for them to be meaningful, they need to be honestly grappled with. Justice Richard Mosley ruled that the federal government violated two sections of the Charter. Freezing bank accounts was an unreasonable search and seizure, and the nationwide order to stop protesting violated the right to free expression. All parents, all Canadians, should be extremely worried about suspension of our most fundamental rights and freedoms. Uh, but it's also a moment for ordinary Canadians to stand up and say no to suspension of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, to suspension of their most fundamental rights. Welcome to the Fringe.